This is Arc Leader 635 and what you guys are looking at is my brand new Invincibility or Invincible Warrior. Now why am I showing him if I already did in one video? Well, I'll take him apart for doing some checks for the first time ever. Now, you probably are asking, wait, aren't you gonna leave this one original? Yes, I will. I'll not do any modifications, no rewiring, not anything. But I just want to show how does the inside of one of these robots look like. And also point out one of the major problems on this one's if somebody gets them off Amazon, which it's kind of weird, but actually it happens. So we'll get to the back of the robot and I'll show you what to do. So for the upper torso of this robot, there's actually four screws that hold the upper body. The lower body is holded by three screws, which I'm not going to take out the lower body because the low, it's, it's useless to do it. I'm going to take out the upper body only, which has one screw here, right there, one screw right there, one screw right there, and one other one right there. And of course, three AA batteries for making this perfect. So, he does have batteries in. Yeah, he does have batteries in, so I'm going to show you all how to do it. So, again, I don't want to damage this robot. I don't want to... Um, uh, scratch it or anything so I'm actually gonna do it on this little cloth so first of all here goes one screw out here's one of the screws I'm gonna put them in order actually because I don't wanna then the upper one huh, it's weird these screws are not actually snapping like the others when when they're first open but I'm not anyone to tell something so yeah another one right there damn it there we go and now here you can clearly see what the fuck they do with this robot, they screwed up. If you guys saw, that's my first disassembling of this robot and it already has a problem. There's two short screws in one side and one long screw in the other side. That's how badly they mess it up sometimes with the actual screws that they put in this one. Let's see what about this last one from the other side. And this one has another short screw. I really don't know why they put a long screw there, but it might be up to, you know, the, the maker or something, even though it's kind of useless. So right now what you gotta do is, of course, you have to put Invincibility Warrior with the missiles up, like this, the missile shooters, and pull the chest out. A little thing about this robot is that yeah, he has some factory dust. That's when it goes from the factory. So, here we go. Here's the first view of the Missile Warrior and what we gotta look at. Yep. Here is what the chest looks like. The um, There's a red-blue LED. There's a green LED there. Man, those things are badly placed. There's that tented gear, which I don't think it... I don't think it's broken or something. Nope, there's no way. Then the motor, that I think that's why he's making that sound. And of course, if you guys see right there, I don't know if the camera can focus that close. There is a little bit of corrosion in that little contact, but I'm not going to give it that much of importance. Now, here's one thing. For all those people who buy this ones on Amazon, there is a problem, okay? Actually, sometimes they come... Uh, How's it called? Upside down in the box, but that's not the real problem. The real problem is that some people tell that this ones don't shoot their missiles. Now, why don't they? Why why they don't shoot the missiles? That's one thing that I'm gonna say. In the shoulder, there's this little peg right there. Let me just take the arm off so you guys can look at it a bit closer. There's like a peg. This little peg right here triggers the missile shooter just pushes this little piece right there and it triggers the uh, shooting action that's why they don't shoot 
when you buy them, okay? Because this could be snapped off or something or it just broke off in the shipping and, you know, you just have a bad time because of that. So that's pretty much the, um, the, the reason why some missile warriors or... Actually, they're called invincible. Invincible warriors don't shoot. But again, it's not a really big problem. And, uh... It's it's very fixable. Now, one thing I have to point out about this one's they have clickers, okay? This one's have really... Damn it. Fucking battery. Okay, whatever. So, I'll have to turn my lights on. Because the fucking... Flash died. Good. That's where the 5% of the battery goes. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so... That's it, pretty much. Um, A little... Things about this robot when I first got him, he's he was noisy, he's still noisy actually. This um, backstopper was actually uh, like the backstopper was way too down, so it was stuck here, and I had to get a small screwdriver and just pull it and just push it inside so it started working. And yeah, just a little bit more of the robot himself for all those people who. You know, they're, they're still, they, they still want to know. Um, basically here in the chest, in the body assembly, however you want to call it. Actually, I'm going to turn my flash from the other phone on because it's quite stupid that I actually don't have any. There we go. Great. So I think, I think I'm actually able to combine it like that. Yeah, actually, it's pretty decent. Okay, so as I was saying, um... There is a little bit of a problem there. Fuck my life. Oh, there you go. There is a little bit of a problem there. Some people might either have this problem or not. I found a couple of comments saying that the robot did not talk or light up. The, the reason is because here's the main positive and here's the main negative of the entire robot's body, okay? Here's where the positive from the chip goes, the negative from the chip goes, and... um if you guys are wondering what are these two contacts on the top here, those are for the relay switch. There's a relay switch in the back. When the relay switch is not working, I mean, it's, you know, the, um, it's not, the, the tins are not touching. He, sa he says, launch missile. When they are touching, the robot says, I'm invincible warrior, I am coming. So pretty much that's a small thing about that you guys probably should know about. Um, the mechanism itself is pretty good. I like it because... Under underneath this, it has like a small, like a big gear that gets the axis up and down instead of a singular gear. So if there's a split piece in there, the robot will only walk and loop the arms and head, which is pretty neat. I really like it. And um, another thing is that just, just I have to say, just for the sake of it, uh, most of these robots don't walk that good. But this one somehow seems to walk good as soon as I as soon as the legs spread a little, he starts working fine. But again, um, some other info about the robot. The robot has five lights original from factory. Because if you guys remember the other one right there, the um the one from last year, actually that one has seven, because I added two. Now here are the sockets where I added lights. See right there? One there and one there. And um, this one's still in, still um, in the middle there. Again, I'm gonna leave this one original. I'm not gonna do any modifications. But another thing, be very aware, be very aware of the plastic. The plastic flimsy, and it actually, the paint actually comes off with your finger or something. Trust me. In my other missile warrior, the paint actually came off in the microphone and part of the face. Um, and also, it's starting to go out in the spikes of the shoulder of this one, even though it doesn't look like that. It's it's starting to do it. There we go, right there. And um, again, the ankles and all those silver or golden pieces, they're just starting to, you know, peel off. They'll, they'll start to peel off. That's why I got a second one. I, I want to keep this one cosmetically great. Uh, no this painting or anything. And I want to keep the other one for just, uh, you know, a functional robot. Even though both work, that one has a modification and actually he's starting to, you know, wear out a little, but he works great. Uh, another thing is that this one's actually a bit slower about the other ones. It's a bit slower and noisier. And actually it's kind of weird because the mechanism in this one's noisier, but the sound is 
quieter. That one, the mechanism is the mechanism's quiet and the sound is louder. Also, the um, there is a problem with this robots. Now, some people have this one, but this one has a difference. Same than that one. Look what happens, because the blue LED and the green LED don't flash at the same time. Let me show you. Yeah, that's right. What you guys just saw. Apparently, the, um, like, the green LED doesn't flash at the same time. When this one turns off, this one turns on, and that's how it goes. And, um, well, here's pretty much what the, what the robot looks like. Right now, I'm actually going to plug in my soldering iron, and I'm going to take out the three wires and re-put the arm in place so you guys can clearly see how the gearbox or well the entire mechanism actually works like since I don't know I really think it's quite kind of important to know the robot you're using or the robot you're getting so I'm just gonna do it but before I actually do it I want to do a little I know that's not originality but Black here, and a little black here, just in case I forget. Because this one, black, will go with this two that are soldered together, which I think, yeah, they're both black. They're both on negatives, that's why they're black. And, um, believe it or not, yeah, there's a black one right there that's for the, uh, lights. For the positive of the blinking light, but I'm gonna have to unsolder that one as well. So, yeah. I'm gonna wait a bit till that heats up, and I'll... See you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so again with the flash, and we're gonna be showing a little bit of the how the robot works. Did not unsolder the wires yet, sorry, but I don't wanna, because again, there's a bad thing with this um, cameras, and it's that as soon as you... How's it called? As soon as you stop recording for a bit, it actually turns the camera off and I don't have the abilities to yet to edit videos yet. So I think that the problem with the noisy is actually the motor. I think that's the problem. And of course a little bit more of the factory dust that I'm talking about when you rise the missile shooters right there you can actually see a bit of the dust in this place, yeah. But again, that I don't know what that dust means because I know it's from the factory. It's from when when they make them and all. But I don't know what it clearly means. But yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, iron's already hot, so I'm just going to just gonna unsolder those three wires, and I'm gonna show how the robot works like without those wires bothering. One, two, three. There we go. All right. Well, I've unsorted all three wires, and now we are gonna see invincibility or missile warrior going on by nothing else than oh shit, shit. I'm bad at, at this fucking thing of just shit. I'm bad and combining two fucking phones. God, I'm bad. I'm terrible. So um, yeah. Again, here's just some of the wiring, which is spread out. I don't know why, it's all spread out. Those three wires, positive, negative, and the other positive. So, here we go. He's going to start by the launch missile part, but I'm just going to tell a little bit of it before I turn it on. This thing turns from side to side, making the head turn from side to side. It actually hooks up to the arms, so the arms move. This thing goes back like this, then it spins. Then they go back down at the last rotation, and then he does the cycle again. But he waits a little bit because of the gear. So, here we go. Okay, I'm 
There's a funny thing about this robot, and it's that usually the gear that goes up and down is either this side or this side. In this one, it's actually in the back of the robot, yeah. Um, basically, if you guys turn the robot f to the back, you guys might actually find the little gear. Um, well. You see, that's the gear. So it keeps a little bit down there, and then it goes up all the way to make the robot rotate once the missiles are up. One cool thing about this robot, by the way, is that he's made with parts of the um, older robots from this brand. Because again, there's there's been a shitload of weird things between brands, because before it was Nova, then it got Zion Zing, and then it got Defa. I don't know how, but that's how it happened. Still, some pieces are actually being conserved, just like the arms. The arms belong to the Metal Fighter by Nova. Only difference... The shoulder is a little different here, doesn't have those shoulder caps or the, the armor there, but the design is the same, okay? The arm, the red piece of the arm is all the same. The legs are actually the same as well than the Metal Fighter by Nova. Same with those, um, there's like a Z-bar down here, which I hardly ever see a Z-bar in one of these robots. I usually see the, um, round, how's it called? I actually have one here. That round... That little, yeah, right there, that little round piece that makes the arms and legs move. Uh, not the arms, the uh, legs. And it actually, I mean, this this is actually like a remake, but a lot better, because it, it mixes two of the robots made by Nova. There's two robots that were called the same, Metal Fighter. One of them was a medium size, the other one was taller, I think, I think. Because, like, there was one that was like the, like, kind of like the Robot 2001, that said, fire, fire, don't move, drop the gun, and he only walked and spin while moving the arms and head. So they said, okay, let's mix it up with another one. There's another Metal Fighter that I actually used to have, this second one, um, that had, like, in here it had a light, in here it had, like, a missile that he would shoot. So what they did was, they said, well, let's put a missile on each side and remake it. Now, as far as I know, Defa Toy made a lot of other robots, and I actually have to say they could have made this one better. Talking about the flimsy plastic, they could have made it from the weapons of the robot warrior. Same with the uh, same with the missile shooters and this microphone antenna. If you guys don't know who the uh, robot warrior is, it's a robot that's all chrome, almost all chrome. Uh, I have two of them. One has the original the original sound. The other one says a one, two, three, four, up and down because the chip died. But if you want to know, the weapons are made out of a gray plastic that it's un. Fuckable, okay, literally. It's just because it's it's the, the plastic's already gray and it's a bit more resistant, so that's a little bit a little um recommendation. And of course, again, I'm really shocked with the uh, design of the gearbox because I've never seen that that awesome design in it. The front, the motor's just right in the front, so you want to oil it, you just do pss, pss, with the uh WD40, and that's it. The uh, the cool thing is that as another ones that I've seen, this new ones actually have back cylinder wheels, which they, they call them barrel wheels, but they're called cylinder wheels, just like the Zodox from the newer generations and the Robot 2001. So yes, this has been my review on the uh, inside part part of the insides and some pr troubleshooting with the Invincibility Warrior. So I hope. I hope somebody that bought it off Amazon and has this problem saw it. And um, as always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. And of course, I might be going to a car boot soon, so I, I might keep you guys updated with that. But yeah, this has been Zodok Peter 635. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.